Okay, so I recently bought a Digitech Jam Man, and I've been very interested in the expander pedal that Digitech makes, and it's called a FS3X uh, expander foot switch, and it's a box that has three buttons on it, and you can go up and down your loops or turn on auto record with it. Uh, although, but what upset me was it's it's thirty nine ninety five out of this catalog. If you went to a store. You're going to pay about 50 for it. I just thought there must be a, a better way since it's only three switches. So I got online, uh, found the wiring diagram for how the pedal works. Turns out it's super simple. And uh, turns out you can actually build one yourself if you're up to it for about 6 or $7. Sounds pretty good to you. Uh, then uh, pay attention and I'll show you how to, how to build one here. Uh, what I've got here is I made this be my down loop button. Digitech Jam Man has 99 loops that you can uh, uh, cycle through, and so that would be down loop, that would be an up loop, and this would turn your auto record on. What are you going to need to build this? Well, first of all, you're going to need some wire. Now, what I did was I, you could use any wire. I went out and I bought three different colors just so it would help me keep my wiring straight and organized. But if you had stereo wire or you just pulled apart a radio or something, you could use any of that. You're also going to need a uh, quarter inch stereo jack input. You can get that at Radio Shack. I got all my parts at Radio Shack actually. Very cheap and this like probably comes in a two or three pack. Uh, just make sure that it's stereo. You're going to need that. You're going to need what's called S. well actually first you're going to need a stereo cable also for that stereo jack. That's what plugs into the Jamman pedal. Your your uh, patch cables won't work because they're mono, so you're going to have to have a stereo one. If you don't have a stereo one, I didn't have one. I had to buy two stereo uh, inputs, and I just soldered mine there, and uh, then it all goes together. And you can see how that will go together, and no one will ever know. Uh, and then it'll, it'll look like that after you're done. That's, that's really simple. Uh, then you're going to also need what's called SPST switches. And that's these buttons right here. They're at Radio Shack. It came four to a bag, so I have an extra one. And it looks it looks just like this. And what that what the SPST uh, switch does is it, it only is hot while you're pushing it down. And it doesn't click and stay down. It actually is spring-loaded, so you push down and lift up. So it's on or off. And that's why that works. You're also going to need some some diodes and uh, I'll show you the diode underneath here in a second. I don't have an extra one out but uh, uh, the number on it is IN4001 but any diode would work because there's no sound that actually travels through this thing. It's all just a small electric current that tells the pedal which uh, command you're wanting it to do. Okay if you're wondering what these things are here uh, I, I thought originally that I wanted my three pedals to be in line with each other, and then I decided one of them staggered, and I'd already drilled the holes, so I just glued some white plastic circles that I had uh, on there, just for cosmetic reasons. Okay, you're also going to need an enclosure. What kind of an enclosure can you use? Well, you know, I didn't even buy this one. I just went to my kitchen drawer and pulled out the old kitchen organizer so that was what I had all the rubber bands and toothpicks and stuff in and I still have the stickers in there safety pins flashlight all that kind of stuff okay uh, how did I wire this thing together well uh, first thing I would say is drill your holes for how you want your pedal to be I wanted my down loop pedal to be here and up loop pedal to be here my first tip would be once you get that drilled mark it for what it is because it's opposite on the other side right this is now the up pedal and the down pedal I got mixed up on mine and had to redo it uh, the first time okay so let's look at the wiring diagram and see what we got here how I started I first drilled the hole for the jack input okay now we're gonna be referring to these wires a lot here uh, a stereo jack has three separate wires there you have the sleeve the ring and the tip the sleeve is the ground I believe the, uh, oh, well, then you just have your other two signals it would normally be for your left and right sound jack, but here it's going to be for the signals going into the pedal. Okay, and depending on what what style of uh, quarter inch jack input, that's what this is right here, 
you'll have to figure out which one of these solder points goes to that particular spot of this okay but for my case here to I'm gonna start with the ground what I did was I now use black wire for the ground okay soldered onto my ground point the black wire I come all the way over here and I drilled holes through my walls of my organizer so the wires would be contained black comes all the way over here straight to my up button soldered onto one of the posts it doesn't really matter which post you solder that first wire onto just choose one okay and then I daisy chained which means I soldered another black wire straight onto that same post and then it goes all the way over all the way over to the down button then I daisy chained another black wire onto the same post for the ground all the way over to the auto record button and then that's where that line stops so the ground actually just daisy chains to all of the buttons so everything is grounded <clears throat> okay now I used green and red for my other two lines okay and the green I used for the ring which is the middle signal of the jack okay so the green comes soldered onto that post there coming all the way over cleanly to the down button soldered onto the opposite post from the ground daisy Jane, daisy chained a green right on there with that one that I'm gonna come over here but before I get to the up button that's where I've soldered on this diode okay a diode actually and that's what it looks like and I told you the, the number that I used was IN4001 anything around there would be fine all a diode does is keep electric current only going one way it's sort of a one-way door it won't let the signal go back and that's how it uh, can work out the little schematic here where different uh, variations of the signal are produced and what I mean by that is the way these buttons work is if you push one button it's going to do the tip in the ground you push another button it's going to do the sleeve in the ground you do the third button and you're going to do the tip and sleeve in the ground and that's three totally separate little signals okay so I have the diode in between the green wire between the up and down buttons and the diode signal is going towards the up button and you'll know that because there's a little silver sleeve on your diode there that tells you which way the current goes so let's retrace this again green wire coming off the off the sleeve here all the way down to the down button all the way over have a diode there with the signal going this way and it solders onto the up button okay so now we've done the green and we've done the black and that's the end of the greens run right there okay now let's look at the tip that's what we're doing right here for this one okay and I used red red is gonna come off the off the input jack there and it's going and it may, may actually you can see the red goes all the way first to the auto record solder on to the opposite post from the ground then it's going to continue on oh there's the second diode and the signals going that way and the red is going to go to the up button and it's going to share the post with the green so that means when you push the up button you're really sending a signal out for uh, green and red it's the up button that uses all of them together does that make sense all right and then this one of course because it stops the green there it's only sending the green back and this one is only sending the red back uh, that's how that works all right so if, uh, if that makes sense to you uh, you know I've never done anything like this and, and it worked the first time all right, I have my uh, homemade Digitech FS3X pedal. Got it wired into the Jam Man with a quarter inch stereo wire. You can see my loops there. If I hit, here's my up pedal, my down pedal. If I hit my down pedal, you see the loops going. Up pedal, you see them going. The middle uh, button for record, you can see the red light on, off, on, off. This thing works. Uh, easy to do if you got the time and a little bit of patience. Uh, hope you enjoy it.